Hey, how's it going, everybody? Welcome back to the Abyss. I'm Matt Sigala. Got a little collection update for you today. It's kind of a mix of a few different genres, so definitely stick around and check this one out. All right, so real quick before we get started, I do want to apologize. I know I've been kind of lacking on content lately, and honestly, I've been kind of dealing with a possibly serious medical issue, so I've kind of been busy with that. But I'm still going to try to make videos when I can. Um, so hopefully here in the next few weeks I can get back to normal, getting back to at least weekly videos. But for now, I do apologize if there's long periods in between. But let's go ahead and check this first album out. All right, so first up, this is an album I got from CD and Records a little while ago. And I've just been kind of waiting to accumulate some other titles. Um, really, really good freaking death metal album. It's kind of a brutal death metal with a lot of old school death metal influences. So if that kind of interests you, definitely check this out. Uh, this is Bastard Son with the Dark Hand. Love that artwork. Kind of like a ritual right outside of a burning city. You can see the planes flying over, dropping bombs and whatnot. Really, really cool stuff. Again, this is kind of a, I guess you could classify it as brutal old school death metal. Really, really killer shit out of Ontario, Canada. Uh, this is their 2019 full length. Um, again, they're off CDN Records. Uh, before this, they had two full lengths and an EP. So definitely go check them out. That one actually came with a very high quality sticker of the album cover. So yeah, Bastard Son, some brutal death metal mixed with old school, uh, very solid. So if you like old school bands like early Cannibal Corpse or you know new school brutal death metal, definitely check this out. This might be a good mix for you. But yeah, the Dark Hand, Bastard Son, go check it out. All right, so next up we got a band from Costa Rica, and this one was pretty interesting. It's just not really classified under one style, at least in my opinion. And you go on Metal Archives, it says Atmospheric Death Metal, and yeah, to a point, I would agree. There's also some like melodic, symphonic, there's a, there's a lot of things wrapped up into this. But the, the music to me is very, very modern distortion, you know, the 6505 PV, you know, sound. I mean, it's really, really good, deep, punchy, sounds great, thick rhythms. Uh, but yeah, this is Humanizer with Divine Golden Blood. Uh, this is a 2018 full length. Is the first full length from this band. Before that, they only had one EP like six years ago. But yeah, you can see there from the photo, they're kind of gritty, almost black metal influenced look to them. You know, like cold smudges smeared on them and shit. But yeah, like I said, it's, it's a hodgepodge of different death metal themes and styles. There's a lot of old, old school sounding stuff, especially the rhythms. Um, there's some, you know, new school metal mixed in there for sure. Some atmospheric themes, some symphonic themes, melodic themes, and some, I would even go as far as blackened. Really deep, gritty vocals. Awesome, awesome shit. Um, I mean, I, obviously, I'll link these guys up. I really recommend you guys checking this out. And uh, let me know in the comments what you think, because it's, it's a little different. Uh, definitely enjoyed it. Um, I'll probably give this a couple more listens before it hits the shelf. Uh, this is off PRC Music, and that's not a label I'm familiar with, but I'll definitely be checking them out. So yeah, let me know what you think of Humanizer, um, Divine Golden Blood. I will link up the video below. And uh, yeah, I believe I got this off CDN when they had their 75% off sale. It's just been sitting here again, along with Bastard Son and these other ones. But let's keep this thing rolling and see what else we got. All right, so moving along. This one was a little bit different. This was a blind buy off CDN Records a while ago. And I actually, <laughs> I had actually forgotten about it. Um, this is off SoundAge Productions. Um, I'm gonna look at my notes just to make sure I'm saying this right. Antiquas Scriptum. Uh, they are from Portugal and they're listed as like a black slash Viking metal band. Um, again, that's Antiquas Scriptum and this the album is called Ad Abracadabra. Um, this one came out in 2018, I believe. Yep. Um, lots of tracks as you can see. Some of them are like 10, 15 seconds long. Some of them are 10, 11, 12 minutes long. Really interesting. Musically, I loved it. I didn't really care for the vocals. And as you can kind of tell from the artwork, you know, snowy fields and, you know, trees, that kind of stuff. It's very folky, you know, slightly atmospheric sounding music. Um, a lot of really good, like, blackened folk songs, I would call them, more than Viking. Um, the vocals, though, really weren't my thing. Most of it is, you know, spoken or, you know, mainly clean with a little bit of grit even the faster more black traditional black metal sounding songs it was more of like a you know like a, a hard rock heavy metal style of vocal in my opinion so definitely not really my cup of tea vocally the music was fantastic really kind of epic you know but the vocals i just i don't know if i can get over those 
Um, this might be going in the trade pile for future trades or care packages, things like that, but definitely worth a check out if you're into like folk, black and folk, black and Viking, anything like that. Again, that's ab Abra, Adab <laughs> wow. Antiquia Scriptum with Abracadabra, um, 2018 kind of folky, melodic, atmospheric, black and folk, I guess you would call it. Um, Metal Archives says it's black Viking, but, um, I don't know. I don't really agree with that. Again, they're from Portugal. Uh, definitely go down in the video, uh, down in the description and check them out. Let me know what you think. Uh, again, musically, I thought they were really solid, um, really rhythmic, you know, kind of an epic feel, like questing music almost, but really good. And the vocals are kind of what killed it for me. So let me know what you think down below. Got a couple more sitting here for you, and then we'll call this a day. All right, this next one is something I pick up in a trade a good ways back with uh, Death Like Reviews. So thanks, Nick, for hooking that one up. Um, this is is cotton. I believe is how you say that with AAA or like I guess those are the Greek symbols. Um, however you want to say it. Really, really good stuff, man. This was a 2013 demo, and it's just really raw, gritty, black and death metal, man. Very old school feel. Um, you know, just a cheap. You know, you can tell this is definitely a demo uh, that they probably paid for themselves. This is probably their record label, I would assume. Um, not a whole lot of artwork or anything like that. No booklet. You know, it's black behind the tray. But yeah, I really enjoyed this. And this band split up shortly after this, I do believe. Um, just looking at my notes here. Um, they had a split in 2012 and then this in 2013 being their only releases. And it looks like all the members went almost immediately into other bands. But yeah, I really enjoyed this, so it's kind of a bummer. I mean, if you like raw black metal, this is definitely up your alley with a little bit more of a death metal influence in it. But yeah, um, definitely go down and check these out. Let me know what you think. Um, it's Gatan from Warsaw, Poland. Uh, just really raw, anti-Christian, you know, hatred-filled, raw black death. Really solid stuff, man. I, I, it's a shame these guys split up, like I said. Definitely going to spin this a couple more times before it hits the shelves for storage. Um, Digipack, not crazy about, but you can't beat it on a, a really good trade from Nick. So thanks a lot again, man. I really enjoyed this. But let's keep on rolling. See, uh, I got one more here for you, and then we'll call it. All right. So lastly, this is one I picked up a while ago again, and shame on me. I'm just getting around to it. Definitely to the party showing this one. Um, this one was a surprise to me, and it's probably going to be high up on my end of year list. It's essentially a super group. Um, um, they just got together. They released their first um, record this year on Season of Mist, and I'm talking about Voltimus. Really, really cool album, man. Cool ass old school artwork. Um, the name of the album is Something Wicked Marches In. Really, really cool stuff, man. Check that out. We got, and of course, there from left to right, you have, or sorry, in the middle there, David Vincent, of course, ex Morbid Angel. Um, legendary vocalist from Morbid Angel. Um, you also have Flo Munier, uh, formerly of Annihilator, um, currently in Critopsy, you know, uh, Necrosis, I believe he's no longer in, uh, Tribe of Pazuzu, things like that. And of course, Rune Blasphemer Erickson, X Mayhem, X Testimony, and I believe he plays live with uh, Gull's Word and uh, a couple other bands. Really, really solid, man. This record I, I honestly blew me away. Um, three amazing musicians, very talented dudes. After hearing, you know, some of the more recent David Vinson stuff, I wasn't really expecting a whole lot, but honestly, I think this is his best work in a long, long time. Um, it's got that old school Morbid Angel feel vocally. Really, really dig it. Um, yeah, there's Rune there, of course. Used to play with Mayhem, so pretty well known. Of course, David Vinson, very well known. There's a kind of a cool picture of him there. Kind of looks like The Undertaker, if you're a wrestling nerd like myself. Uh, good shot of all three of the guys. <clears throat> and uh, Flo Munier. But yeah, so what's the sound? I guess you could say it's kind of a blackened death metal sound. Um, very solid. Um, it's kind of got that old school Morbid Angel punchy style of riffing. Um, this also came with a little mini poster of the album art. Sorry, I didn't mean to get off track there, but pretty cool. I'll definitely be hanging that up on the wall somewhere. But yeah, it's kind of a mix between, you know, modern black and death metal and, you know, that Morbid Angel sound kind of mashed together. 
I really, really enjoyed David Vincent's vocals, and I thought the guitar work was fucking insane on this one. So definitely go check this out. I picked this up, on, I think, on Amazon on a whim. I saw David Vincent and um, uh, Blasphemer was in this, and I was just like, why not? And ended up being really amazing. I've probably listened to this 10, 15 times, no joke, since I got it. Um, I mean, the Digipack is already disintegrating as we speak because I've handled it so much. But really solid. Definitely go down and check them out if you haven't. I know I've seen, I believe, Metal Viking 82 talk about this one and a couple, a couple other people. And with good reason, man. It, it kicks ass. It's a, a really good, not disappointing at all. Usually supergroups disappoint me because I just expect so much. I want to hear like the best of from each member's bands and it just never follows through. But this, this one was really good. Definitely check it out in the comments if you haven't listened to it. Let me know what you think. Again, guys, really sorry for the lack of content, and this video is fairly rushed as well. But like I said, with the medical things going on with me and my family, um, I'm going to be taking a little bit more time in between videos. But more content is coming. Second channel launching soon. Uh, more, news, more news on that eventually. But Hales and Horns, I love you all. We'll see you soon.